All right, so what they want us to do, guys, is they've, uh, they've asked us, or not, they've asked us to find, uh, this is a composite function, and it's f of g, and they want us to find the derivative of f of g. And they gave us f of u is u squared, and then u is equal to g of x. So basically, f is u squared, f of u equals u squared, and u equals g of x, which is, whoops, well, it's all right, I don't know why I'm writing it down twice. So how do I make f of g, right? Because that's what we're really doing. We're, we're really making f of g. Plug in the g and square it. Yeah. So so it would be g is x to the fifth plus two squared. And so what they're really asking us is what the heck is f prime of g of x? Okay. Now the key to this is that we're just going to take the derivative of the stuff on the inside and then tack, on, tack that on the end. So you could think of it in terms like this. If I were to say to you guys, h of x is a smiley face squared, what would h prime be? Two smiley Two smiley face. Two smiley face. Right, because we toss it down to the front. Now, what you can't forget, what you can't forget is that now, it's times smiley face prime. So we've got, always got to tack it. It's just that in the past when we do polynomials and we take the derivative, uh, when we take the derivative of x, it's always 1. And so we've always multiplied that, uh, that, that prime on the end of the derivative. It's just always been 1, so we've kind of ignored it. I thought, but I thought that 2 smiley was smile prime. <laughs> Well, let's do the problem and see if it helps, okay? So I'm going to toss the 2 down here, and then I've got x to the 5th plus 2, and now I've got to tack on the derivative of the stuff on the inside. I've got to tack on the derivative of this, okay? So what's the derivative of the stuff circled in red? 5x. 5x to the 4th. Okay? Yeah. Now... If you multiply all this out, f prime of g of x, and I don't know if I need to write down every step. Mr. Adams could do this problem in my head. All right, so you guys, oh, you're so smart. No. Every step. But it gets easier. Like, the more you do this, it, it, you, it, you don't want to write out every step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack. I'll show you how I do it in my head x to the fifth has to be distributed by this. And then everything also has to be multiplied by 2. Ah, we'll just do it the old way. So I'm going to say 2x to the fifth plus 4. So I'm just distributing the 2 through the parentheses. And then that has to be multiplied by 5x to the fourth. And then I, I just went ahead and read it and wrote it out. And so now when I push the 5x to the 4th through, I get 10x to the 9th plus uh, 20x to the 4th. Double check that, though. I was bragging about how good I could do it that's in my head. That's what I got, so it must be. So that's right. Okay. So now, now the only thing I need to do is plug in x equals 1. Okay? So when I do that, by the way, what's 1 raised to any power? 1. 1. So what I end up with f prime of g of 1, it's going to end up being 10 plus 20, 30. which is 30. So let's see if that's right. 